I'm getting ready to make a apple pie for dessert tonight. The cloud that I was doing with Tabby Lou. She did the pumpkin roll and I'm doing the apple pie. So I just got some apple pie filling. Got my crust. I got two crusts in here, so I'm going to take one and make a cup for it. Goodbye. Okay, and I got this one. We got no, no added sugar. Ooh, that smells good. Look at that. Mmm, smells really cinnamony. Very cinnamony. Mmm. It tastes good. I think I'm going to add some more brown sugar to it. Or cinnamon, I mean. Cinnamon. So yeah, I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top here. They say sediment's good for you too. Yeah, yeah. That can't be much, much better. I gotta taste much, much better. We shall see. Take this out. If I can. And make a topping. If I can. Okay, there we go. Hey guys, there we got it. Look at that. It looks beautiful, don't it? Okay, I'm going to put it in the oven until, well, you know, it browns up. And then we'll have some good dessert. Make a good ice cream. I don't know yet. And my dad either. We shall see. But anyways, homemade. Oh yeah. Well, I know some of you just want to say not homemade because I use canned filling, but I still made it at home and didn't buy a frozen one, so. Well, I know some of you just want to say not homemade because I use canned filling, but I still made it at home and didn't buy a frozen one, so. Which I could have. So this is why I'll make my this is why I make my apple pie and get no sugar added. So pie all done. Look at that. Nice and yummy. Yum yum yum. Cream on there because that tastes so good together. Mm -hmm. Mm. My homemade apple pie. Mm -hmm. Let's go too. Oh, no, I want to do an apple pie. So, I'm using five large apples. Here's the next one. I didn't start peeling it. From what I see, it won't make take long. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing a homemade crust. I looked it up, and I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that. Uh, so, I don't have an apple filler, so I just use my knife. And I'm going to try to go as thin as possible. Now, I do have a decor. Decor out the middle. Take core out. So, I'll probably use it here. I'm going to get all the stuff first. Then, I'm going to just dice on it. Really. So, we have an apple cutter. Take a lot of apple away. Especially when you're already doing this. You know what I mean? And then I got a pretty bowl of milk. So we'll, we shall see, guys. We shall see. So this is what I'm gonna do, and then, and like I said, we'll come up. The recipe I found to do these apples did not brown, call for brown sugar, but I'm lying. It called for five medium apples, three tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of butter, tablespoon of cinnamon, a third cup of sugar. So we're gonna take it from there and see. I probably added lots more cinnamon because I like my cinnamon -y apple pie. I would taste it before I before I put it in my uh, pie crust. 100 for sure. Because I don't, yeah, I just taste it. I want to make sure it tastes good. I want to get every little bit of apple. I know that's kind of too thin, but I'll just throw it up in there anyways. And you can't you know what I mean? You're supposed to put in that much butter. <laughs> well, two, three tablespoons of butter. With three tablespoons of water and melt it. So that's what I am doing. I think brown sugar would be better. I think I'm going to have to do the brown sugar instead of the white sugar. And then it says bring it to a boil. And that's it. And you put it in your pie crust. You put your oven on 350. I mean 375. Then you break your crust to a golden brown. Brown sugar and cinnamon. This is really easy. You may add corn cornstarch to soften it up. What? You may add corn cornstarch to soften it up. What? Oh, I cut wash my apples. You know, every time I buy a pie from uh, anywhere else, they always have that one might be a little big. I should have cut it down. The filling usually always, always, always 
brownie. But I'm just going to add how much brown sugar it said to uh, regular sugar instead of, brown, instead of white sugar. With a little touch, a little more. Okay. And I'm just going to guess on the cinnamon because like I said, the cinnamon is the best part. And I will sprinkle probably more on top when it's done. Do Okay. Now that it's boiling, you reduce the heat to the medium and let them cook. And I think I'm going to cover them too because I help get the moisture in there once you, you know. Okay, these are cooking up really nice, guys. It's not taking them long to get soft at all. Not as long as I thought they was. So I'm gonna let them go for about another two to three minutes at a boil, kind of. I got it down on four, and they're still kind of boiling. Oh, it's smelling lovely. So I'll let these go. Yeah, they're getting real soft already, pretty quick. So. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, apples are done. They are good and soft. So we'll pour them in the pie crust. This is, this is what I do. I should say. It's definitely not going to be pretty. I ain't no professional. I'm definitely not a baker. <laughs> For sure. I still consider it's kind of homemade doing my own apples. Halfway homemade, I should say. <laughs> Right guys, halfway homemade? Because half of it's homemade and half of it ain't. That still will come out, but I'll cut the slit there. Okay, you supposed to cut a little slit, so. Actually, it's a cut four of them. That's what you can do, it says, if you like. There we go guys, in the oven. 375. How long? I'm not sure. I'm just going to cook it until the crust is good and done. And of course, I will show you when it comes out. The pie is done. It took about 35 minutes. That's why I stuck it on this cookie sheet. For the simple fact, because I forgot it. the recipe did say do that. But I'll let you guys all know tomorrow because I'm not eating it right now. Anyways, let's get started with this apple pie. Now I'm looking for the apple pie, re the recipe. The filling actually is what it is because I pop crust, so I don't know. No. <laughs> I know. I got my hair up. Okay. I say I've, I found a homemade apple pie filling. What they did with this, though, is they put it in jars and ate it like crustless, but they said it's yum, yum, yum for, you know, your middle, your filling. <clears throat> My throat's some Actually, my throat didn't really ever hurt, but you know what I mean. I need four cups of apples peeled, three cups of water, sugar, corn syrup, cinnamon, salt. And that's pretty much it. And I'm pretty sure I made it like that last time, but when I made an apple pie, but I, heard, I thought I put butter. Maybe not. This won't call for butter, so that's good. We don't need butter. We don't need butter, you know what I mean? I messed up already. I already got the sugar, three cups of water in. Lemon. But you're not supposed to put the apples until all this comes to a boil. <laughs> Oopsie. So, I'm just going to take them out and put them in the pie pan. Or whatever. And then add them. Let boil for a few. And then bring to a boil. I'll tell you, I'm not a baker. I'll tell you what right now. And the pie crust has to set out for an hour and a half. So, I'm not going to be able to make it for a while. But I'm going to go ahead and get this ready. So, It'd be already then four cups of apples. I'll show you guys the recipe so you can uh, so you can do it yourself. One third cup of corn starch. Okay, one third cup of corn starch. I have to do exact measures or I want this pie to turn out right, you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's messy. I'm flour everywhere. It's like kind of like a flower, isn't it? Now in your salt. I'm just going to do 
salt that I think is right. Screenshot it, whatever, and put it on. To me, the more, the better. I don't have nutmeg, so I did not in. Now we're gonna put this over here, bring it to a boil, it says. And we'll see. Okay, guys, I brought this to a boil. Now, now you, uh, I, and I got apples. Look, it's already getting thick. So now you let it sit on simmer, lid, covered with a lid. Oh, it smells so good, too. Homemade crust. <laughs> Not really, I know some means. So it's pressed it really good. This is really a cake pan, but guys, that's all I have. I don't have a pie pan, which I really thought I did. And it says to firmly press it. Okay, so now we're going to put the filling in, guys. Kind of give you a view. Look how thick it is. Might not need all these. Except four cups, but. Apple, so that's what it. Oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah, it's preheated and ready to roll. It's going to be a good apple pie. We got vanilla ice cream and a cool whip to go with it. Tim's been wanting this pie forever. And I told him, I said, I promise, day, I'll get your apple pie made. I don't know, it feels good. Okay. Just do like this if you want. I want. You don't squish them down turning the pie around. I don't like to bake, it takes too long. Get a knife so that you can kind of cut it off along the edges if you want. Which I think I want, I don't want it hanging over. I think I want to stick it on a pizza pan just in case it does run over. I don't think it's going to. I'm going to make some slits. Says for ventilation. I think we'll just do two, three cute ones. There we go, guys. Let's get her in. Right, there's the pie. It's smelling really good. <clears throat> so, we're not going to try it till later. It just got out, so it's got to like cool a lot. So, if you guys want to see it, what it tastes like, check out the next video because that's where we'll be doing our taste test. Getting started with the pie crust. He only has to shift. Shift two cups. Two cups? Twice. Three cups twice. Yeah, three cups. I'll look at the recipe. I got it over there at the table. I'm going to do the crust first and then I'll get the filling done. My Haley's doing this. I'm going to start peeling apples. This is going to be, we're, I'm making a... A deep dish. Then we got this for the top. One over here. Here's the apple pie we haven't ate yet. Looks good, don't it? Looks homemade too. It's not perfect. It's not the factory. Right. Okay, just got done eating some of that pie. That apple pie, it turned out really, really good. Haley did a good job. I just did the instructions and she did everything. So it turned out really great. The, the top was kind of, the crust is crumbly, but it still tastes really good. I think what I should have did is wipe some, you know, egg yolk on it and sprinkle a little sugar on top of it. I'll do that next time. But other than that, it turned out really yummy. So
Turn the bent talk is shit. <laughs>